Welcome to day two in our seven days of autumn looks. It's your girl Carla from Life with Miss Carla. If you are interested in beauty, fashion, and home decor, you're in the right place. Today's video, we are doing prep for the skin to lay our makeup, including skincare and foundation. Sure that you thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video. Drop your comments down below with what else you would like to see in this series. Before I apply my makeup, I always clean my face. So I use a toner, and you can use one of your own choice. I use this one, the L'Oreal. Face is clean. I let that dry. So I use a choice, some choices of serum for my face. Uh, I have that one, which is from Avon, uh, and that um, has lots of vitamin C in it. I like this one. I also have this one from uh, Sunder Riley, but I find this one is very thick. So I'm not necessarily like to use it, but it does give your face a nice um, glow and it helps to firm the face and brighten your skin. But it's quite thick, so I just yeah, that will do. That amount will do. Maybe this is even too much. dry down and it's quite it has a sticky base so you could go in straight away with your um, foundation but I'm going to go and add my moisturizer which is again by L'Oreal that's on my pickup so I use it on my face yeah, need it more. this has a nice little subtle smell quite fresh has a fresh smell Hints of lavender might be in it, I'm not quite sure, but it, it has um, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid in it. Now, as you can see the face, it's plumped and ready. That, <laughs> that hyaluronic acid moisturizer helps to replenish moisture in my skin. And as you can see, it has a nice glow to it and it still has a sticky, sticky base. So this is now ready. For my foundation now I am ready for my color correcting before I put my foundation on. I've got dark circles around my chin area and under my eyes so I use this MUA um, it's a setting powder and I find that I can use it as a color correcting powder rather than buying the color correcting cream I have the powder so I'll use it when the powder is finished I'll go with the cream but for now I'm using this powder and it's an apricot color powder there you go looking lovely isn't it just the same tone as my foundation which is from L'Oreal and it's number 330 and I'm using a flat brush which I'm going to use in a stippling motion so I get my foundation you know right in there and I'm not sweeping it and making it have marks and lines no stippling motion gets it into where it should go not into my skin but it just sits right on top of that moisturizer that I use remember I said it has a, a sticky base so it's not going to pass through my moisturizer and even if it gets through my moisturizer it has a serum which is also a sticky base to get through as well now back to my foundation i'm using a stippling motion so i can have a nice base to work with and makeup it's all about a base isn't it so if you if you notice i started with my skincare then i move from skincare into the correct color correcting and then now i'm in foundation mode so you will notice everything kind of moving stages um and that's what the foundation looks like so far next i'm going in again with l'oreal concealer and this is number 330 um it's near to my skin tone but i use that as well just to give me another protective layer under my eye 
um, you'll see further on I'll be using a lighter shade so I can add more light to the areas you know which needs to pop which is and then we normally let our concealer dry down before we start to um, blend it out that way you get the blended more seamless and it gives it a tacky feel so when you when you're moving it it's not moving but it rather sits and you get a better blend so that's the whole concept of letting it dry down as long as you can have it there to dry even if it's over dry just add some mist with your setting spray and it will just brings it back into just that consistency that you want it to be so that's what i'm doing here i'm blending out the concealer and it's all about blend 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 and blend and blend sorry for the lights guys i'm using natural light today to um to do my uh, makeup so you know the light keep the sun keep going in coming out in and out um but yeah we we move so that's me um explaining but today i'm doing a voiceover because i was talking with a friend of mine as well so now i go in with revolution um it's this range i can't remember the name of it but i'll put it down below um, so this is the lighter shade I go in and I just add it just right under the eye there not spreading it all across like what I did with the first concealer so I'm just kind of shifting is a little bit isn't it I'm just um, blending and shifting so it the, it the concealer moves as well so yeah and I also allow this to, to dry down yes so next um, guys I prefer to use a sponge over a brush and it's again choice and preference okay now we're coming up to the end of the video guys this was the base I used for my first fall makeup yesterday um, thank you guys for tuning in for watching the video guys make sure that you are liking you are subscribing you are sharing the videos leave your comments down below let me know what else you would like to see in this seven day of fall makeup and this is where i say my goodbye and i'll see you in my next upload thank you very much and i'll catch up with you soon bye